<clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Hey, Pi oh, hello, Pisces. <laughs> Did, I didn't say hey, Pisces. I don't know what's happened to my voice. Hey, Pisces, thank you very much for visiting. This is the first time I haven't said hey, Pisces. I've just said, I don't know, my voice wasn't working. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry about this. Yes, but now this is your weekly reading for April the 16th to April the 22nd. And as always, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment. And I just want to say thank you so much for being so patient with me. I know this is very, very, very late. I won't go on about what happened and everything like that because I just want to get this out for you. I just want to get these messages out as quickly as I can for you. So I'm just going to start um, your reading now for Pisces. The first card you have your past is the Queen of Swords. Yes, I'm just seeing here someone who has no time. They just have no time. Someone who's not interested in any kind of love at this time. Now they might they might be interested in love sometimes, but they're a very, very practical person. And I'm not seeing them um, I'm seeing that you might have been felt you might have felt rejected by this person, but I'm not seeing that they actually um meant to reject you, but I am seeing that you could have felt some rejection from them. This isn't about you. I'm seeing that they're very practical, they're very responsible, they concentrate on lots of practical things. That's what they were doing at this time. They had a lot going on in their life. They could be in some kind of leadership position or some responsible position or something like that in their work or somewhere in their community, something like that. They could actually, they could actually come back to see you, I'm seeing sometime in the future. I'm not seeing this as finishing. I'm not seeing this as finishing. I'm seeing that they could come back. But at this time, I'm seeing, you know, you have felt really rejected by this person. But, you know, they're just very, very, very busy at this time. They're very, very practical. They have a lot on at this time, a lot of practical concerns, or they did. They had a lot of practical things on at this time. But I am seeing that you have felt rejected by this person. Maybe, you know, you think they're not um, communicating with you as much. Maybe you think they're a bit cold with you, but that's just what I'm seeing um, in that card. But I'm seeing that they don't mean to be. I'm seeing they don't mean to be. The next card you have you passed is the Two of Swords. So yes, look at this. You could have been really hurt by this person, and you could have felt that you could have felt that this person's really deliberately tried to hurt you. I keep on seeing this, but again, I'm not seeing them meaning to do this. But I am seeing that um, they are very, or well, they have been, or they always are, very self-focused, not selfish. I'm not seeing they're going around saying, I only care about myself, I don't care about anyone else. No, they're actually, um, they do care about a lot of people. They have a lot of things they have to do practically in their work. They have to... Um, take care of people but they're in charge of some people I keep on seeing that they're responsible for some people and yes they're just they might be a little bit thoughtless when they're lost in what they're doing but I'm just seeing that um at this time you might be so upset with them or angry with them or unhappy with them that you just don't want to see them or hear from them I'm seeing that when I look at this person this woman in this card and she has a blindfold on she doesn't want to see or here, she doesn't want to see this person. So you might not want to see this 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 person at this time. You might not want to hear them anymore, hear from them, I should say. And I am seeing also you have these two swords, or this woman does has these two swords out. So it's like trying to protect herself from both sides, trying to protect her heart, trying to protect herself, and blocking off so that you might have even blocked them. You might be trying to ignore them and trying to protect yourself. That's what I'm seeing. Trying to protect your feelings. I'm seeing again in this card, this situation isn't over yet. You are going to be in contact with them again. I'm seeing that. When I look at this moon, it's a crescent moon. It's not a full moon. This situation hasn't come to its fullness yet. It's not over yet. It's still uh, kind of half done. That's what I'm seeing. It's not complete. The moon isn't complete yet. That's what I'm seeing in that card. The last card you have your past is the Ace of Pentacles. Fantastic. Of course, I love this card. Of course, I do. So yes, this is um, this is a very stable person in the Queen of Swords. This is a very strong person. I keep on seeing that. At this time, they had a lot of practical problems. I keep on seeing that again and again. Practical things. That's what I see when I see Pentacles. Strength, stability, all of that kind of thing. 
And they might be a little bit blunt with you as well. And maybe the way they speak to you or the way they've spoken to you is a little bit rough or a little bit blunt. Um, at this time, because you've had this separation from them, I'm seeing you're not talking to them, or you're not around them, you're just getting away from them. And they're obviously very busy with, with whatever they're doing, or they were at this time. And, you know, if this is still resonating with you, if you're still going through this time, or, you know, if you are going through this time, at this, you know, at this time, this is like a... This is like a message to you to kind of focus on yourself. Don't focus on them on what they're doing. Because, you know, if they want to come back, they will come back. And I'm seeing they probably will eventually come back to you. But I'm seeing that um, concentrate on yourself at this time. Because you're going to be able to manifest something you've been concentrating on for a long, long time. That's what I'm seeing with this Ace of Pentacles. This taking off of something you really want to manifest, this fantastic thing that can really come into your existence that you've been really wanting. So concentrate on yourself, concentrate on in achieving this thing. And um, you might have taken a break from this thing that you've been trying to manifest for a while because you've been um, paying attention to this person. But now at this time, you can pay attention to what you want to do. This is perfect timing. You can focus on this totally now. And you know, also, if you've been hurt, this will take your mind off things a bit. This will help you to try and ground yourself again. And um, yes, you, this can help you to manifest this thing at this time. You're the, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You can manifest this thing. That's what I'm seeing. The first card you have for your present is the Three of Pentacles. Right, yes, I'm seeing you presenting something to a group or something like that. This is, this is about this thing that you're trying to manifest and you have been for a while. You might have to make some sort of a proposal, proposal, I'm not saying that properly, some sort of a propo proposal or, some, or something like that, or I don't know, it might be an audition or it might be something that you have to kind of enter something because I'm seeing, I'm seeing a panel or a group of people and you might have to um, bring, I won't say that word again, bring what you have to show them so that they can decide whether that's good or not. It might be something like that or some sort of an audition or some something you have to go to a panel and show them what you what you can do, show them what you have, that kind of thing. And um, yes, you're really going to be able to fully concentrate on this now and you're going to be able to give this your all now. That's what I'm seeing with this. You can achieve this. You really, really can. I'm seeing that. And I'm also seeing someone around you who can actually help you with this. So this is like, the Ace of Pentacles is like a beautiful offer coming coming to you and you're able to manifest all these amazing things or this one thing that you want. And with this opportunity comes a lot of help coming in for you, a lot of doors opening for you. And so I'm seeing that there is someone who can help you with this. They've been there before. I'm seeing someone's been through whatever process you're going through now. They're going to be able to help you. They're going to be able to advise you. So yes, if you know who this is, go and talk to this person and it'll be really helpful for you. The next card you have for your present is the Queen of Wands. Yes, here we are, energy, optimism. I'm seeing you really moving forward with this thing that you want to manifest. I am seeing there's still hurt. There's still hurt inside you, definitely. You'll still have some hurt at this time. I'm seeing this is because of this person in the Queen of Swords. You still feel very hurt by this. You can't just click your fingers and have hurt go away. I wish you could. I wish I could. I wish I could click my fingers. I'm still feeling it, but you can't do that. You just have to work through it. Um, and you know, it won't disappear overnight. I am getting this feeling of, I'll show them. I'll show them what, what I can do. You know, I won't, I won't let this person hurt me. I'm going to show them how fantastic I have. That's a fantastic thing to come out of this. That happens to me too. I just think, right, I'm just gonna work really hard. I'm going to get better. I'm going to do this. I don't care if I'm hurt. And that's, that's what I'm feeling. This is what you're going to do. And this is what you should do. Whatever fuels you to keep going with this thing, this is a fantastic for, thing for you to be manifesting. And yes, when you meet up with this person again, and I'm seeing that we'll meet up with this person again, better to be someone who has achieved something than someone who hasn't. So when you meet this person again, whether you want to be with them again, it doesn't matter. You're better off meeting them, ha being able to say, 
look, I've done this, or I'm doing this, or look how amazing, I've done this and that. And they say, wow, that's amazing. Then someone who says, oh, I've just been sitting around with my head down, eating lots of chocolate and, and laying in bed. They'll say, oh, right. So I'm not saying you want to do this to impress them, but this thing is really worth manifesting. You want to do this anyway. So let whatever feeling it is, even if it's feeling hurt, even if it's feeling angry, whatever it is, let it fuel you to achieve this thing and manifest this thing. That's what I'm seeing there. So the last card you have for your present is temperance. So yes, this is very specific. I keep on seeing this same um, situation all the time. I'm sorry, I do get specific in my readings and I can't help it. That's just what I see. I do see very specific things. So yes, this is you. Look at this temperance woman here. She has, you can't see her feet, but anyway, I'll look, I, I'm doing this a lot. I always say, oh, my OCD, I can't move the cards. I want them to be straight, but here we go. I'm doing it there. There's her feet. So she has one foot in the water, one foot on the land. You have one foot on this thing you're trying to manifest, this earthly thing, this pentacle, you're trying to bring it into your existence, into the earth. The other foot is on the water. The other foot is thinking about this person in the Queen of Swords. Oh, I'm still really upset by them. I still miss them, but I'm still angry. And you're going through all these different feelings. But if you look at this beautiful angel, on her chest, she has a triangle. This triangle is pointing upwards. That's where you are going. No matter how you feel, no matter how hurt you are, no matter how angry you are, you are manifesting this thing. You're moving forwards. You're going upwards. Look at her beautiful red wings. She's flying upwards. That's where are you, you are going. You're going to be able to achieve this. You're going to be able to manifest this thing. It doesn't matter what fuels it. It doesn't matter if pain fuels it. It doesn't matter if anything fuels it. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as you do this and you are going to do this, that's what I'm seeing. The first card you have for your future is the Wheel of Fortune. So yes, Wheel of Fortune, here we are again. This is about this person in the Queen of Swords. You've had this backwards and forwards situation going with this person for a while. You've had this kind of, oh, I'm so angry, but I care about them. But they hurt me, but they're not there for me. And all of this backwards and forwards thing going on with this person. And yes, they are going to be around you again. What goes around comes around. They've been around. They're coming back again to you sometime in your future. I don't know when this will be. It will be sometime. And yes, again, up and down. I, I just keep on seeing this up and down again. Excuse me. And yes, this person's very practical. I keep seeing the same thing. This person is very practical. This person's very busy. They're never going to be the type of person who um, texts you all day, says, oh, I love you so much all day long. They're not that kind of person who has loads and loads of time for you. They're not lovey-dovey in their language. They're not like that. That doesn't mean they don't care about you. But you've got to realize that's what this person's like. That's what this person's like. They're straight up and down, straight up and down. This is something that if you want to be with this person, you're going to have to try and adjust to that. You're going to have to try and, yeah, you're just going to have to try and adjust to that or move on because they're not going to change. That's what I'm seeing. This is what they're like. This is what this person's like. And maybe that's why you're having so many ups and downs. And I am seeing that, that this is a kind of a person who maybe you feel like they're cold. Maybe you feel like they're cold. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have for your future is the Two of Wands. So yes, you're still going to be unsure about whether you actually want to be with this person, that you've had ups and downs with them, and you know, I'm seeing that with the Wheel of Fortune, I'm seeing that as well with this. You're just sitting there, looking out into the distance, thinking, do I want a future with this person? What do I see in my future? Do I want them? Do I not? What do I want? Take your time and make this decision. Take your time and think about this. Don't rush into this. Take your time. That's what I'm seeing. And if you do decide to go back with this person or you don't, you can change your mind again. You can always change your mind. But I am seeing that in this time when you're away from this person, this is really good for you to go and think about all these issues you've had with this person in your past. 
Because when, this is preparing you, because when you come and meet with them again, you'll be prepared. You'll know what to, what to ask them. You'll know what to talk to them about. You'll know what to think about. You'll know what you want, will be prepared to put up with and what you won't be. All of this kind of thing. And you'll be a lot stronger as well because you'll have, you'll have manifested this thing or you'll be on your way to doing that. You'll have confidence from doing that as well. The last card you have for your future is, yes, the Three of Swords. So yes, be prepared to not to feel hurt again, but to know that this person is going to always be like this. So yes, this person's going to be coming back to you sometime. I know they are. They're going to be coming back to you again. I keep on seeing this. But they're not going to change. They're not going to change. They're going to keep on being like this. They're not going to be deliberately avoiding you. This problem, what I'm seeing is this problem that you've had in the past is going to keep coming up again and hurting you if you do not accept that's what they're like. So either accept that that's what they're like or say I do not want to have someone who isn't going to be the way that I want. It's, it's one or the other because this person's not going to change. That's what I keep on seeing. So I am seeing not that you're going to be heartbroken but if you don't accept this from this person if you don't accept that's that's what this person's like and you keep on trying to change them i'm not saying you are but if you do try to change them if you do get back together with them and you try to change them you are going to have heartbreak because they're not going to change that's what i'm seeing so in this time where you're still separate from this person think about that as well and think about whether that's something you want that's what I'm seeing there. Pisces, I hope this resonated, but as you know, general readings can't always resonate with every single person. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. And thank you for being patient again. Sorry this is so late. Thank you so much for watching.